Hi friends, let's draw a triangle. It's like the letter A or a really pointy mountain. Draw a line on the bottom. It's okay if your shape is wobbly or not straight. Okay, make sure it's big on your paper. First, we're gonna draw one shape up above the top of our triangle. Any shape you want. I did a rectangle. Then do another shape at another point of the triangle. And then I did an oval at the third point. So each point of my triangle, I have one shape. Now we're going to get our primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Okay, let's color the top shape red. Remember to stay in the line. Color, spread the color evenly, which means across the whole space. Press kind of hard when you're coloring with red and yellow and blue so that you make your color really dark. Yellow is going to go in the bottom right corner. Blue will go in the left corner. Okay, now we're going to get our pencil again. And in between each shape, each two shapes, we're going to put one more shape. Any shape you want. I did a square here. I'm gonna do another shape in between the red, yellow and the blue. You can do any shape you want. And one more shape over on the other side, okay? Now, we are going to use the primary colors again to make the secondary colors. So when you take two primary colors together, they make the secondary color. So first of all, I'm going to start with red. Notice I'm not putting a lot of pressure on the paper, so I'm touching it softly just to put a little bit of red. It's not as dark as my red shape. And now we're going to put yellow on top of our red, but we are going to press hard with the yellow. And when we do that, we make the secondary color orange. Yay! Okay, so let's do the next one. We're going to take blue and color very lightly on our paper, not pressing hard, just a little light touch, a whisper drawing of blue and then I'm going to take yellow again and press hard and look what happened <gasps> it's green we made green the secondary color green okay last color is taking blue and red so I'm going to do light blue color very lightly with blue And now I'm going to take red, but I'm not going to press that hard. I'm just going to press kind of hard, but not that hard. So medium hard, okay? And when I put the red on top of the blue, it looks kind of purpley. Your purple might look different. It's okay. So I'm going to show you what happens if you use different kinds of blues or reds and how different they can look. So I'll start with this red and then I'll put a little bit of a lighter blue on top and it makes kind of a grayish purple. Then I'll put the same blue I used before and then I'm gonna try a magenta red. 
And look, that looks a little more like the purple we're used to, okay? And so I'm gonna try another blue. Let's try this one. And then my magenta. And see, now that one looks a little bit darker. I'm gonna take this super light blue and magenta. So look at all the different kinds of purples I made. Okay, so any kind of purple that you made is okay. It's okay if it really looks kind of like ah. almost black. Okay, and then anything else you would like to add, you can turn your little triangle into something. You can add a face or you can add more decorations, but all you need to do is turn in um, your picture of your mixed colors of how we made the secondary colors in our color wheel. Okay. And we only use the primary colors. Have fun!